So the people that order from Amazon, your, your packages are ending up all over San Francisco streets because they don't knock on doors. They just kind of throw it towards the place that it's supposed to go to. It usually lands on the city streets. But most of the time it lands on the sidewalk. And then guess what happens to it? All right, we're on quite a walk today. Lots of mud, gunk to uh, swash through, and all kinds of fun. We're headed this way. A little tired, been going uphill for a while. 44 degrees today, gloves on my hands, three shirts on. Normal for this time of the year, California in a La Nina year. It always helps to push the record button. You only have to do it once. All right, this is from Noah. Second warmest November in 140 years. Probably will be the second warmest year since 1880. The last warmest six Novembers have all occurred since 2010. Now let's go over and have a glance at the mob showing the temperature anomalies. The red is the hot, the blue is the cold. You can see that the red is outweighing the cold. Now, let's go over and look at global temperature trends. A La Nina has a 30% chance of forming before the end of the year and continuing through the entire year of 2020. Now, with this, we, cut, we on this channel always talk about the CO2 levels. Well, let's go take a look at the CO2 levels. December 16, 2018, that was a year ago, the CO2 readings were 409.59. People get confused when I say that. They think I'm comparing one day to the next. I'm comparing one year to the next year is what I'm doing. It's just they don't catch the date right. December 16th, 2019, that's this year, CO2 levels on the same day were 411.75. Continues to skyrocket upward. Remember, it can take up to 40 years for the temperatures to rise to whatever the CO2 levels are. It, there, there's a really big lag time. So we could be seeing ourselves going right into the frying pan and it doesn't feel like it because we haven't reached it yet. Let's go and take a look at the CO2. This is the graph that shows the up and down seasonal CO2 levels. As you can see, we're steadily rising now and we're seeing some pretty big peaks. These peaks could be from volcanic activity near where the sensors are. So I don't pay much attention to them when they're this small and so few of them. One other thing I wanted to talk about was the magnetic North Pole seems to be shifting towards Siberia, away from the North Pole, and it's shifting faster and faster. Now, a lot of people are going to go flipping out over this because they don't understand it. Well, what it is is that in the mantle of our planet, we have liquid iron that flows continuously in bubbles and churns and is under loads of pressure. And all that churning makes a magnetic field. Now, when all that churning swishes or burns to a different area, the magnetic pole ship. That's what's going on. It probably won't affect us at all. All right, next stop. Now I know what's going on. The record button isn't actuating each time, so I really have to watch things on this old camera. So, politics. That's next. We're very close to the city, so lots of noise. Just within a half a block. Let's start with the Democratic news. Obama has told his, his friends and family he will speak out against Bernie Sanders if he continues to build momentum. You see, those that think that Obama was on the left, you guys were just crazy. He was never on the left. He was right there with the right-wingers. He just acted as if he was on the left. He does not want Bernie Sanders. Why, huh? What, why doesn't he want Bernie Sanders, a true progressive, 
on the on the left to run for the Democrats. Does that mean the Democrats are not even close to the left? It looks that way, huh? So many mainstream Democrats are becoming very annoyed with this and are demanding that this stop. Today is the rally for impeachment. Supposedly, it's going to be tonight somewhere here in San Francisco, maybe the federal building. Oakland's supposed to have one too. Okay, as you know, I uh, have a new little segment. I put the board out in the hallway and let people write whatever they want to about politics or the environment. We have another political board to show you. Let's go to that at this time. All right, a little bit of rain is supposed to come tonight and tomorrow. Got lots of stuff going on again. There's always something going on, huh? So, as we head back, a lot of people have accused me of being partisan. I am neither a Democrat or a Republican. I am an independent. And I've only voted twice for Democrats. Once for president, which was Clinton, once, the first time. And a local Democrat here in San Francisco, once, one other time. Most of the time I can't stand any of them. They don't even think the same way I do. Bernie Sanders is the only one that thinks similar to me. So, with that, I appreciate your ups and downs and new subscribers. And until next time, don't forget the comments. They're working. Bye -bye.